everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. <clears throat> I'm Mad Mark. In the last episode, we finally left three and made our way to Saturn Valley, where we discovered many of the Mr. Saturns were being kidnapped. So we took a look behind Grapefruit, Grapefruit Falls and discovered a secret facility. <clears throat> I'm here to kick your ass, you little bitch. And, uh... <clears throat> I think this is a new enemy, the slimy little pile. He's also weak as hell, so there's that. Here's a definite new enemy. <clears throat> Haven't even seen a sprite before. This is the Foppy. Uh, nothing really special about it. Just gives you lots of experience. Especially if you fight a bunch of them. Uh-oh, we got zombies. They're just those farm zombies, so they're easy enough to deal with. <clears throat> Oh man, I am awfully flimmy. I'm recording this right after I had lunch, and I get kind of flimmy after lunch, and any time I eat, really. I should probably see a doctor about it. <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave this battle in. No harm in cutting it out or leaving it in either way. Here's another. And just as I suspected, we can uh, one-shot them from behind. Why am I carrying a rust promoter? Kind of thing about I want to give Paul a fly, honey. You will see luck. You will see why later. <clears throat> Actually, you probably already know it's for Master Belch. Because that slimy little pile we just fought said it was his favorite. And Paul, I believe, is our right now our fastest party member. So, I believe she'll be able to use the fly honey fast enough. A Q capsule that gives an automatic one point to... Uh, your IQ, obviously. <clears throat> I want to give that to Jeff. I want to give all my IQ capsules to Jeff. Ooh, broken laser. Definitely want to give that to Jeff. He could fix that, make it into something better than the broken air gun could become. Uh, I kind of think I should have had the broken air gun fixed already, but whatever. Also, don't be afraid to use your PSI powers. <clears throat> There's a uh, magic butterflies. Hmm. Let's see. Yep, speak of the devil. Ah, the magic butterfly has helped me relax. Excellent. And you can go into that room and kind of like scum magic butterflies. And I just got back attacked. But they were easy enough to deal with. Just PSI fire twice and bash them. Let's see if I can spawn that magic butterfly again. Paula needs some more psychic points. Yep, oh, there we go. I might do it just one more time. Yep, here we go. Alright, that ought to be enough for a while. Okay. What do we got? 
a slimy little pile and a new enemy, mostly bad fly. No. I want to take out the uh, slimy little pile first. Do I have any? I think Ness might, but. I was wondering if I had any insecticide spray. That way I could take care of these flies. Easy peasy. Actually, it shouldn't be much of a problem either way. Just physically attach them and watch them go down. Drop like flies, if you will. fight. Two level ups. That's good. Okay, didn't climb that ladder. What's up that ladder? I want to see what up what's up that ladder now. Probably nothing, but hey, you never know. And I think that room we were just in front of is actually the boss room for uh, Master Belch. That's strange. That other slimy little pile didn't attack us. Oh, you assigned the zombies to three, huh? <laughs> I'll take that, jerkwad. Ooh, we got Hypnosis Omega. Probably never use it, but hey, we got it. <clears throat> hmm, some of these trash cans. Vital capsule, I'll give that to Paula. Guess it's like a drink or something. Because it says they drank it. HP sucker. Calorie stick, that's just a healing item. <clears throat> I'll give that HP sucker to Jeff. I don't think it really does anything other than damage the enemy. There's another version of it later on that will actually drain its HP and give it to you. <clears throat> I don't know, but that's much later in the game. Chew fly, don't bother me. <laughs> All right, let's uh, pay Master Belt a little visit. And by that, I mean beat the crap out of him. Ugh. What the hell's this room covered in? Oh, God! Y you could actually hear him belch in the dialogue. Like, damn. Oh, that, that's actually kind of disgusting. Yeah, let's let's get this over with. Yep, this is Master Belch. Uh, he's actually pretty easy. Just uh, oh, that ain't good. Oh, and, uh... Oh, rockets don't work on him! Hmm, let's see if healing beta will cure our nausea. Let's try to bomb. Let's try the HP sucker, see what it does. Oh... Hmm, 
that doesn't work on Master Belch either. Let's try Healing Beta. And... Ah. That's good. Yeah, if you give him the fly, honey, all he'll do is eat it. He might spew a blast of stinky breath occasionally, but for the most part, he'll just eat the fly, honey. <laughs> Otherwise, he'll heal himself every so often. But he's dead. Ugh. See you in hell, Belch. Ooh, we got PSI Magnet Omega. That either steals a lot more PP than regular PSI Magnet, or it steals it from every enemy. Even fight, I killed you. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, stop burping. I... Ah, shit. Yeah. Oh, looks like the burping's contagious. But, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, wash all the shit off her body. What do you got? Oh, cool. A longer ladder. And I believe we have to wait for the hot springs to actually take effect. I don't think it'll... Actually, maybe it does? I don't know. Yeah, why not? And this scene is triggered when you drink the coffee. Indeed I have. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Hmm, Pokey. Yeah, he's a pretty rotten person. Yeah, I've even died a few times. It sucked. This is true. We got Paula and Jeff. <laughs> Je oh, okay. He gets stuff. He gets stuff, too. I thought they gave him the shaft with... Actually, they kind of did. They called him timid. <laughs> Are you Buzz Buzz? <laughs> well, they say good is dumb, but I know, man. I'm pretty sure good will always triumph. I can enjoy myself. I love Earthbound. One of my favorite games ever. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. I hate the desert, but I do like the city.
also don't like coffee. <laughs> Never heard. I mean, I drank a couple. I drank a. I drank coffee a couple times. And didn't like it. Apparently, there's a funny story of me going ape shit in fourth grade from drinking coffee. But. I don't remember it. Also, don't talk to him again and pick yes. It will force you to experience the coffee cutscene again, and that's very long and arduous. Isn't that right, photographic genius? Fuzzy pickles, indeed. Alright, fly on out of here. Alright. Now there's one more thing we can do here in Saturn Valley. But before we do that, I want to go to the hotel. Oh, uh, yeah. Yay! Yay! Aww. Okay. Stag Beetle. And we got the Saturn coin. Hmm. Other. Oh, I'm on the wrong guy. Saturn coin, that's an immense defense boost. Pretty good. Now, is this the hotel or is this Dr. Saturn? Yeah, it's the hotel. The music changed. Let's talk to Mom. Okay, you got the Magnum air gun. bit more. But what I want to do is fix that broken laser. <clears throat> yeah, just keep spamming the hotel and... Oh, oh yeah! The laser gun! Far from the best weapon in the game, but it's most definitely the best weapon we can get right now. Uh, what do we got? Oh yeah, that's like 11 more damage. Anyway, I'm gonna call the Escargo Express and shuffle my inventory around a little. Alright. <laughs> ah, how'd you find this place anyway? Okay, take the fly, honey. The Magnum air gun. And the toy air gun. <laughs> All right, that'll do it. Uh, all right, so in the next episode, we're going to do the one last thing we can do here in Saturn Valley for a while, and then we'll move on to the desert and hopefully the four side. All right, see you guys then.